Will Seth be able to kill the table this turn? No, actually. Find out this week on Things in the Ice. <laughs> Welcome to Things in the Ice, a competitive EDH channel, where this week we try to reenact Jurassic Park. I'm Jeremy. And I'm John. Uh, this is a game that's a little light on, uh, light on blue at the table, which is weird for us. Mm. Makes me feel a little unsafe. Uh, yeah, you are. Yeah, <laughs> exactly. Because we've got the return of the Dino Master and Holly. Uh, yeah, I'm excited. It's a thick and nugget. It's gonna get wild in here. Not only that, we've got Narset and we've got some fantastic Geb action. Yeah, the little guy from Blueboro. I, I mean, we love some Blue Burrow, we love our fursonas. Let's get to this and see if we can't get stompy. Hey folks, it's John, and today I'm playing a fun little guy from Blue Burrow, Gev, yeah. my little scaly guy. Uh, I'm, I really like this deck, it's got a lot of interesting combos with both Chthonia Nightmare and Dockside Extortionist, as well as some that involve Murderous Redcap. Uh, but this opening hand is bad. Uh, my first seven was mediocre, and with the first seven, I usually try to go for something better. And then each mulligan just started getting deeper and deeper into uh, unplayable territory. I maybe should have gone to three, but we're just gonna try and figure this out, see how it works out, and hopefully not make a bad name for Gav. Hey, all Seth here. This week I'm bringing back Prosh. Haven't played this in a hot minute, but we'll give it a go again. Uh, kind of a pretty decent opening hand. I don't really know what I'm doing with it, but it's a lot of stuff that I want to play with. Uh, the Dark Ritual demo, Console, Tutor, like, even Insidious Roots, they're all pretty good pieces. I need to find a little bit more mana in order to get Prosh on the table and then just, like, win the game. Uh, the Tutor's probably gonna help with that, so the only really thing I gotta worry about is interaction from the rest of the board. A lot of blue, so let's go! What's up everybody, it's Jeremy. This week I'm coming in with some gruel action. My stomp queen, it is Atali. Uh, looking forward to this hand. It's a good one. Opening hand, got a couple hands, got a mana crypt, got a mangle horn. Gonna mangle somebody up. Uh, lightning bolt to hopefully pick off some action, bolt a bird, but I gotta gamble. Let's go. Turn one gamble. What could go wrong? Hey folks, Steve here. Uh, this week I'm playing Narset and Lightened Exile. Uh, had to mold down to five, uh, but I did get some dry engines to make up the difference. I can't wait to enlighten the table uh, with an underworld breach to the face. John's going first. <laughs> Let's get to the action. Check out these hands. All right, anybody got any pre-game actions? Mm -mm. Nope. Yep. <gasps> uh -huh. How dare you betray us? Gemstone Caverns. Judas! <laughs> ah, pitching windfall. I'll get a start. <laughs> uh, blight step pathway. I will cast a Viscera Seer. Mm, that's Shot. good. It's yeah. visceral. Yep. <laughs> it sure is. Uh, blue player, yeah? Uh, yes. Wonderful. You have player. my permission. <laughs> Thank you so much. Uh, and then I'll cast a Mox Opal. Blue player. <laughs> <laughs> And then I'll pass. Okay. Go to my turn. Untap, upkeep, yep, and drop. There. Uh, we'll do a Misty Rainforest. Tap, crack that, go to 39. From the Misty, I'm gonna find a Bio! <laughs> Birds of Paradise. Pass my turn. Thank you, my friend. I will go to my untap, upkeep, and draw step. That's not a card I wanted to draw. Oh! How many cards do you have there? Eight right now. Oh, cool. But now it's seven. Because right. I'm gonna play this Scalding card. Skelting turn. Skelting turn. I'm gonna crack it. Losing one life off of the Skelting turn. I got this Taiga. Taiga. I'm gonna go ahead and play a Mana Crypt. Blue player? Yes. All right. Yes. We're gonna tap for red and we're gonna gamble. Game oh, down. Snap. Oh, can it be me? Yes. <laughs> yes, a hundred percent, Yes. 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 Well, I have five cards in hand right now. Great. So one and six, so. What? Point one five repeating. Yep. Damn. I don't Damn. think it works the other way though. Like when I gamble, whatever I get, immediately into the bin. Yeah. No. Sure. For for this it, one, you're gonna throw his worst card in the yeah, graveyard. Absolutely. Absolutely. Do you just plan on it going to the graveyard? <laughs> <laughs> so so lately, actually, yes. All right. Let's uh, let's see what you pick, Seth. <gasps> Ooh, you feel it? Which one? So tender. Ooh, yeah. I actually think it's this one. Yeah. 
What is it? Come on. What is it? Well, Drop it's it. A, it's a little disappointing. Ah! I don't believe you. You, mm. you, didn't, you didn't gamble for a land. I didn't gamble for a land, but it does put off my math because I'm going to play a Jewel Lotus. Nah, I, I, I was going to gamble. That, that, I, I, I was there like, There were two cards yeah. that I didn't want you to hit. One was the Jewel Lotus, the other was the fucking land, so I could play my Atali next turn. Just Spirit Guide, Spirit Guide, get good, go. God <laughs> damn it. Pass the turn. Uh, untap, upkeep, drizzle. Sacred Foundry. Tapped. Oh. Nice. And then I'm going to tap my gemstone caverns for one white and cast an Esper Sentinel. Ooh. Mm. Rustic buddy. That's... We don't have blue. Correct. You're good. Like, we do have interaction. Yeah. Shut up, Sam! For, for the blue, when you cast a blue spell, you need to ask us if it's okay. Yeah, yeah okay, that's not one, a blue spell. This one, great. Yeah. yeah. Faster. Awesome. I'm gonna have upkeep. Save my life. <laughs> Got a combat. Steve, I'm swinging one at you. <laughs> What? <laughs> How dare you? Uh, trade. I'll trade. Oh, coward. <laughs> <laughs> One damage. That's good. Go to my turn. Untap. Upkeep. Be sad. Yep. Cool. Uh, Verdant Catacombes. I'll crack the Verdant go to 38. So from the Verdant Catacombs, I'm going to get this Badlands. Uh, we're going to tap the Bayou and cast the Land of War Elves. Oh, yeah. Like, why not, right? Yeah, sure. Um, pass turn. <laughs> Untap. Upkeep. Crip trigger, I bet. Good. Drop. Okay, never mind, I'm playing a Tali. <laughs> <laughs> Play a land. Mm -hmm. no it's one, a mana confluence. No one could have seen that coming. Absolutely not. I'm gonna crack this for three red and lose a life going down to 38. And casting a chunky! Blue player? Blue player! Blue player! Blue player. Blue player. Nobody gave me any cards! What's the blue yeah. player? And then I'm going to cast Wild Growth and Jessica's Will. What's everyone's hand size? Uh, trigger Esper Sentinel. Uh, yes. You go right ahead. I've got three, baby. Well, so I have five. Sure, I'll choose that. Okay, so I'm going to respond to the Wild Growth resolving. Sure. Once we get there, and I'll bam two. Okay. So I have four. Cool. Um, uh, this Wild Growth is going to go on to this Tide Dog. Oh, right. Uh, as for several trigger. Uh, off of oh, the yeah. tutor. Yes. Oh, but I can pay for that. But you don't want to. Yeah, no, I do want to. Yes. <laughs> Alright. Okay. okay, so Vamp Tutor resolving? Yep. From this Vampiric Tutor, I'll get that card going to 36. No further responses. Jessica's Will! Yeah! yeah! Hey, you control a commander. That's weird. I get four red mana. And whose was this? Is John's. There you go. Oh, that's yours. <laughs> I'm just gonna take your top card. Yeah. Uh, exiling Jess, uh, Jaxus, Spire Garden, and Lotus Petal. Woo! Sweet. I'm gonna cast the Lotus Petal, and I'm gonna cast Jaxus. Seems <laughs> good. The four red mana that I just got. Yeah. Uh, this is going to be exiled because I can't play it. That's bad for us. That's another Atali max turn. Yeah. I will mm -hmm. I will go ahead and pass the turn because I've got a chunky. Sure do. Um tap. Upkeep. Draw. And to cast a jewel lotus. Nice. Yeah. Uh I'm gonna sack jewel lotus uh to add blue. I'm gonna add a red and a white. Yeah. Cast Narset. Pass turn. Anta. Upkeep. Draw! I'm gonna cast an Iridescent Vine Lasher. Ooh. So one, two with Offspring. I obviously can't pay for the Offspring. Landfall. Whenever land you control enters the battlefield, uh, this creature deals one damage to target opponent. Mm. Nice! Yeah. Weird. If I had my commander out, that'd be pretty cool. Mm. But I don't, so I'll pass. Okay. One tap. Upkeep. Draw. Uh, Magic Ritual. Uh, uh, trigger uh, Esper. Yeah, you can take it. Ritual resolves? Yep. Mm -hmm. uh, Are you four, getting a chunky? Five, bad nauseam. Oh. Hey! Oh. Baby! Hey, blue player. Hey, blue player. Hey, blue player. Hey, blue player. I'll take for stuff to kill Jeremy. Yeah. 
Yeah. Uh, yeah, right. He's going <laughs> to dig for stuff to win. I know this little bitch. Yeah. I got nothing. Pass priority. Please, God, save us, Steve. Like, you can fierce it. Oh! In fact. <laughs> In fact, he will. Hey. Hey, Seth. That was a really nice try. No response to the fierce. Pass my turn. Yay! Yay! Untap. I'm gonna upkeep. Damn filthy blue players. Odd bad. The one blue player said no. Hey. Yeah. I lose three life. Go I'm down to 35. Good. Thank you. I mean, we would have lost the game there. Probably. All right, I'm gonna go to draw. I'm gonna tap for a red and a green. I'm gonna leave the green floating. The red is going to trigger Jaxus to, I have to first discard a card. As a part of this, <laughs> this hurts, but uh, yeah, it's going to be a crater hook behemoth. <laughs> <laughs> and I will trigger uh, Jax's targeting Atali. Any responses? No response. Cool. So, technically, the way it works, both exist on the battlefield. Which one are you keeping? I'm keeping the original Atali. Great. That one dies. Trigger that trigger the on the stack. I will choose to draw the card. Okay. Great. Now we can resolve the atomic trigger. Yep. Oh! <laughs> Saw in half. <laughs> no. You're yes! Wrong. You, you 100% win right now. Yep. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Yes, I do. Have fun. Have yeah. fun. Have yeah. fun. Have Ooh, fun. this is about the best fucking Ooh. flip I've ever seen. At, at least, at least you get to draw a card. That's, that's the positive. So I'm gonna, I am gonna cast all four of these beautiful fucking cards. Great. Who are you targeting with saw in half? Uh, I'm gonna target a Tali. Oh! Uh, but uh, the way I'm gonna have him resolve is detutor. Uh, then we'll Trigger do. Trigger Esper. Uh, yes. Go ahead. Ooh. I, Ooh. I I think the saw in half is if you can counter something, the saw in half is the thing to counter. Um, uh, obvious D tutor gets food chain and wins anyway. Oh, sure, right. So maybe the D tutor. Yeah. yeah, I don't know. Priorities on you, and I don't have any way to do anything. Do you have responses? You might now. So D tutor on the stack. That's the all, one that's gonna. Well, technically all, all four are on all, the all four are on the stack, but D tutor will be the first resolving, then squee, then dragon's rage, then son. Uh, if D-Tutor gets Food Chain and you can counter Food Chain, you counter Food Chain. If... Well, Scree's gonna be on the battlefield anyways, that's fine. You're gonna get multiple hits with a tally. Like, yeah. There's no winning unless you can mind break the whole stack. But I but I think if you only have one place to interact, it would be... Well, this it would be assuming the, he would gets be the Food Chain. It would be the Food Chain. chain. Yeah. Assuming he yeah. gets the Unless food there's chain. another line. Yeah. Which, with Squee out, I don't see why not, like, the mana to cast it mm. and being able to have Squee out. Yeah. yeah. Um, it, it is immediate win if Food Chain hits the board, so. Well, yeah. Well, mm. but <laughs> if you counter the Demonic Tutor, he never has a chance to get the Food Chain. <laughs> then it's still in the deck, and the multiple Atali hits can get it, or the multiple extra value. I mean... Yeah, it can. It's tough. Yeah, it's, it's super tough. Uh, so yeah, I will cast Pact of Negation, targeting Demonic Tutor. Whew, going for a draw. Ah, I see. I see how it is, Steve. Okay. Mm -hmm. Okay. Um. Yeah. Great. So That's good. My death sentence is on top of your library. Beautiful. That's countering D Tutor. Yep. That's in your grave. That's in your graveyard. Mm -hmm. All right. Squee resolves then, yep. Dragon's Rage Chandler, and then we've got a saw in half on the stack. Yep. Targeting Atali, it is going to create two. Both are at uh, four boars. Uh, one will die instantly, and I will keep one of them. Where matter. is real Atali going? Uh, real Atali is going into my command zone. Okay. Yeah. Uh, there's that. Great. Uh, so two Atali two triggers. triggers. Not one, but two. Let's Whoa. go. Food chain. What the? <laughs> <laughs> okay. Ah, this is great. Oh my god. Uh, was that a mana crypt that I got? And 
No. Get it I mean, first. yes. Yeah. Free. Yeah. 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 And Lion's Eye Dive. Okay, yeah. All right. <laughs> um, okay. Do you have any way to interact with that? Nope. Great. So let's make this real quick so we can get another one out. Yeah, yeah, let's uh, do it. 100%. Great. Uh, so <laughs> Jesus Christ. <laughs> that went about as fantastic as it could. What I'm going to do right now is I am going to use food chain here that I flipped off of my own deck. This is just the Nutter Butters. Uh, exiling Squeak, generating infinite mana for uh, creatures. Then I will start casting Atali over and over again, playing every single spell in your all's libraries, and exiling all our lands. Exiling everything that I don't want, yep. and we'll leave you with zero cards in the library and a giant board. And a funny little footnote on this is Steve will technically die not because of drawing from an empty library, no. but because of Pact of Yes, <laughs> you spiteful yeah. bitch. Yeah. You <laughs> didn't kill me. <laughs> Well, that was uh, that was a quick one. Uh huh. Shall we do another? Yeah. Since I won, I guess I'm going first. I will go ahead and draw my card. Play a uh, Shatter Skull, the Hammer's Pass. I'm gonna lose three life, going down to thirty-seven. Nice. Mm -hmm. I am then gonna play a Max Diamond. That's cool. I'm gonna discard yeah. this forest. Cool. Beautiful. Three. I'm gonna tap the Max Diamond for green. And cast a little high flying. Great! They're delighted. So am I. Pass the turn. Delightful. My turn? Yes. Untap, upkeep, draw. I'm going to play a flooded strand. Yes. Good card. I'm going to crack it going down to 39. <clears throat> Off the flooded strand, I grab the volcanic island. Mm -hmm. And I'm going to cast otherworldly gaze. Oh! I will surveil three. Pioneer staple right yeah, there. That's, hmm. that's, that's pretty smart. And a little nurse said graveyard action. That's oh, fun. Absolutely. That must be. Trying to sit it out. Just feeding the free plan now. Yep, yep, yep. yep. Uh, and then I'm going to pass. Great. I will play the City of Brass. Mm. Tap it for a black, go down to 39, and cast Imperial Seal. Ooh, that's well, a good card. That is a good card. Yeah. yeah. Blue player? Blue player? Uh, you have my permission to let that resolve. Beautiful. Thank you so much. <clears throat> Off of Imperial Seal, I got that card. I'll lose two life. Go to 37. And pass the turn. Sweet! Untap, upkeep, draw. Uh, so I'll play an Arid Mesa. I'll crack the Arid Mesa. From this Arid Mesa, I'm going to get this Badlands. I'll Ooh. tap the Badlands and I'll cast an Imperial Seal. <laughs> Yeah! Oh my god! I don't know why I shuffle. Friends. I don't. Oh, it's, does it resolve? Yeah, I don't know. Yeah, stop his, it? stop his, not mine. I mean, if you didn't stop John's, you might not stop this. That's the assumption. No, you're good. Okay. Go ahead. I'm gonna go to 37, and I will put that card on top. Uh, let's go ahead and cast a Chromox. Good. Imprinting sweet. Oh! oh! Smooth. Cast a Jolly Little Lotus. Yeah. Oh. Faster. Wow. Mm -hmm. My turn. It's not as impressive. Says the homie with. Untap. Upkeep. Draw! And there's a Tali. Turn two. So, I have a very interesting set of choices in front of me. I'm not sure what to do. I can play it safe. Play it safe. Be a safe little boy. Cause it snuggled up in a little. Little, little snuggy, uh -huh. or I could, or I could go fast. Uh, now I'm not very familiar uh, with Atali. Does Atali like to just kind of chill and snuggle up in a blanket? Yeah, not. Do really. dinosaurs typically just kind of chill? Not that I'm aware of. Um, and I think you got one option. <laughs> right. I'm gonna cast right of flame. Yeah, okay. baby. Okay. Here we go. Two red. Yep. We yep. good? Yep. Cool. I'm gonna use that two red. And tap for four total. Uh huh. And cast a treasonous ogre. Oh, oh yeah. No. Yeah. Oh, here, comes a tolly. <laughs> here comes a Tali. Here comes a top for twenty-one life. Here comes a Tali. <laughs> oh wow. <laughs> I'm going to go down to sixteen life, using twenty-one to cast a Tali. <laughs> 
Sweet. Does anyone have any response to Atali? No response. Let's see about those tutors! Yeah! Oh, yeah. That's what I was kind of guessing for you. Awesome. <laughs> I, I was like, I, I'm so excited for you to exile the card that I got. All right, I'm going to cast all four of these. Uh, it's going to be Ragavan, Murderous Redcap, Chromox, and Turn Timber Symbiosis. I'm going to have it resolve where it goes. Ragavan, Murderous Redcap, uh, Chromox, and Turn Timber. See, any response? No response for me. Great, please continue. Murderous Redcap, or Ragavan enters. Uh, Murderous Redcap, I'm going to deal two damage to... Seth space. Mm -hmm. Uh Chrome Max, I'm going to pitch this red elemental blast underneath it. Mm -hmm. And then turn timber symbiosis. I get a look at the top seven cards in my library. I may put a creature card from among them into the battlefield. If that card has mana value three or less, I it enters with three additional plus one plus one counters. Jesus so fucking Christ. Two, three. Six, seven. The problem is, is Tally doesn't run a lot of the creatures. So that's a big old whiff! Uh, good turn. Good turn. Yep. I'm gonna sure go was. ahead and pass. Alright. Uncrap. Up creep. Grizzle. Uh, I will play Orawara as land for turn. I will tap Orawara to play Mana Vault. Uh, I'm going to tap Mana Vault, uh, pay two life. Uh, I'm going to cast a Phyrexian Metamorph. Yes! <laughs> More Atalis! Uh -huh. yeah. Yes! You good? Of course. You good? Where's your red elemental blast now, Jeremy? Uh, I don't give a fuck. I want more chunkies. Let's go! Thick and nugget time. We flipping? Right, we're flipping. Uh, Goblin Engineer. Pyro Blast. Campbell. <laughs> <laughs> God, my board looks so sad compared to everyone else's. It's <laughs> turn two? Yup. I haven't had my second turn yet. I'm gonna let Gamble go to exile. Mm. Great. Lotus Petal will enter the battlefield and then Goblin Engineer. Yep. Sounds good. Goblin Engineer trigger. So off the uh, Goblin Engineer trigger, I got Lion's Eye Diamond, and I'll put it into the graveyard. Oh, shocking. Shocking. Mm. He must have Underworld Breach in hand if he let that gamble get exiled. Um, I'm going to then cast a Jewel Bonus. Mm. Mm. Uh, so I'll tap uh, for a blue, sacrifice for a red, and I will add white to cast our set. I want to pass. Untap, upkeep, and uh, draw. I'll play a mountain. I will lose one from City of Brass, number 36, and I will cast. Eh, eh. I'll <laughs> yes. cast. Get. Eh. I'll pass the turn. Untap, upkeep, draw. Not actually bad. Wasn't a Ragavan, though. It wasn't a Ragavan, but it's probably fine. I'm going to play an Ancient Tomb. So oh, I'm going to tap the Ancient to Tomb and take two, go to 33. Uh, Chrome Mox for red, and I'll cast Wheel of Fortune. Ooh. Ooh! And I'll hold priority. Okay. Exile Elvish Spirit Guide, and I'll cast an Orcish Bowmaster. Ooh! Ooh. Oh. 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 oh, Jeremy is not long for this earth, is he? Any responses to Orcish Bowmaster? No. No. No, there's no response to Orcish Bowmaster. Cry emoji for me. Beautiful. It was fun, fam. ETB, Orcish Bowmaster ETB will hit the Ragavan. Orcish Bowmaster targeting Ragavan. Mm -hmm. It is dead. Goes to your graveyard. Okay. Wheel of Fortune. No response. Okay. No response. Hey, Seth. Where's the Orcish Bowmaster trigger going with all the cards that are being drawn? Do you have anything you can do about it? Yeah, I do. Well, so, I was gonna kill Jeremy first, because Treasonous Ogre must be punished. So, what's your life total? Uh, 16. And seven cards being drawn. So, 16 of him, and you'll have five left over. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Um, I'm probably gonna pick off value targets, like Narset. Why would you do that? So you that's, four oh Narset. shit, that's four. Yeah. And then you have one left over? Yep. Um, that seems like a safe division. The Save me, John! <laughs> you get rid of the bowmaster, no. Jeremy doesn't die, right? <laughs> yeah, no. Don't 
worry. Jeremy's done. <laughs> That's... Listen, Jeremy surviving is not... Uh, is, it's happening. It was a great first game. It was a great first <laughs> game. And, an, and it was a great turn two. Ah, it was fun to watch. Now yes. shut the fuck up and sit there and do nothing. Uh, <laughs> Fair enough. So let's ruin Steve's life, I guess. <laughs> I'm going to cast Deadly Rollick targeting your Atali. No! <laughs> Exiled. Exiled. I have no further responses to Wheel of Fortune. Wheel of Fortune resolving. I have something to show you all. This was a very interesting string of thoughts in my head. It was all revolved around this Chrome Mox. Mm -hmm. I could cast it. And I could exile this, uh, this you know, Red Elemental Blast. And I, I struggle with that because I have Fury in my hand, which <laughs> would have saved my ass here. But I thought... What creature combo this early is going to kill me? No. Yeah. Uh, so, because I wanted that extra oh. mana, I get to die. Oh. Um, beautiful. The flame that burns, burns twice as bright. Burns twice as fast, Seth, and I love it. Go fast, baby. Talisman of Progress and Mystical Tutor. Hoarding Broodlord, Talisman of Indulgence, Ragavan, Viscera Seer, and Sulphur Springs. It's okay, so I have 21 Orcish Bowmaster triggers yeah. that are on the stack. Mm -hmm. uh, 16 of them are going at Jeremy. <laughs> because we're fine with doing an exact kill. I don't yeah. think you can gain life. Uh, but I am going to mark 5 on Narset because I don't trust that you can't prowess your way out of like, Narset living. What if Jeremy has a deflecting swat and he redirects one of them? <laughs> I hope you swat that. Alright, so you're doing 16 at Jeremy and 5 at Narset? Absolutely. All right. All right. Any responses? And no, I'm gonna take sixteen <laughs> to the face and die. All right, the nurse is dead. Is dead. Great. Go ahead and exile and cast a lotus petal. Sounds good. Pass the turn. You got a twenty-two, um, twenty-two. Tab. Yeah. Upkeep deals me one damage from mana vault. It's a little thick. <laughs> Draw a cord. Uh, he drawn crab. Yeah. Crab. I'm uh, going to <laughs> play City of Brass, trigger Hedron Crab. Yeah! Yeah! I'm going to mill myself three. Yeah! Exotic Orchard, Scalding Tarn, and uh, an offer you can't refuse. Ooh. Re refuse. Not refuse. refuse. I'm going to add a blue and a white, taking the damage. Or losing a yeah, damage. Um... I'll oh, cast Lavinia. Oh, everyone's favorite. I'm going to mm. kick back. <laughs> oh, I am. Yeah, you got no response. Mm, yeah. Mm, we're going to. That's the turn. I am glad I am fucking dead. <laughs> <laughs> no free spells and non creature spells that cost more than the lands the amount you have. Of lands you can't have. Can't be cast. Mm -hmm. Pass. Me? Turn. Untap is up to his jaw, babies. Cast Gamble! Oh, oh! Let's get gambly. Can I pick? Because I'm doing nothing. <laughs> yeah, sure. How <laughs> many cards in here? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, plus the gamble. Oh, Eight. right, yeah. You just wheeled. Yeah. Uh, any response to Gamble? Uh-huh. Mm -hmm. mm -hmm. Great, let's do it. Um, getting this card. Follow the card. Watch the card. So, the Grand funniest card. thing is, is the reason why John didn't want me to pick, I have a pretty good percentage on this. <laughs> hey Steve, can you? No! <laughs> that is a card that is going into my graveyard. That's not what the gamble is for, though. Probably not. Maybe. I'm going to play a swap. And I'm going to tap for two, lose a life to City of Brass, down to 35, and cast an Arcane Sickness. <gasps> Ramp! Ramp! In this meta? It's a little late. I mean, we're on turn, what, three, and you don't have, like, 15 mana Hey, Jeremy, do you remember my instructions to you <laughs> when you died? They were, shut the fuck up and do nothing. <laughs> Pass the turn. <laughs> <laughs> Untap, upkeep, draw. I'm just saying, though, you could have one. <laughs> uh, we'll play a Scalding Tarn. I'll crack the Scalding Tarn. 32. From the Scalding Tarn, I'll find this Taiga. Mm -hmm. Yes. Cool. Uh, we'll do Taiga for a green and cast an Elvish Deep Shadow. Uh, I'll fun. crack the Lotus Puddle for a green and cast an Allosaurus Shepherd. Nice. Mm. Okay. There you go. 
Uncounterable. Tap a Badlands, tap Ancient Tomb, lose two life, go to 30, and put a Wheel of Must Fortune on the stack. Ooh! Ooh! Pass, Force of Negation, Pitching, uh, Cyclonic Drift. Sure! Ooh. Ooh! Two spells that I don't want to see anymore. Uh, Exiled, correct? Yes. Yep. Mm -hmm. okay. Yes, it's great. Uh, so I'll go to combat. Yes! And now the real question is, who do I hit in the face? 22-22, coming at you! I'll block with my crab. <laughs> yeah, crab dead! That's turn. Alright, on tap. On tap. I'll keep damage from Mana Vault. Draw. Going to tap three, white, and we're going to play Selvine's Reclamation. Yeah, that's a good card. Targeting. Mm -hmm. Targeting Jeweled Lotus. No response for me? Beautiful. Then I'm going to pass a good turn. Untap, upkeep, and draw. <sighs> Which way will the wind take you? To whose face? I'll I'll stick. I'll stick with I, I had first thought, best thought. Mm. Go to combat. Seth? Yep. Coming at you for three. That's the best thought. Yeah, kill Seth first. Oh wait. Kill Seth first. Fuck you, Seth. <laughs> kill Seth. First. Wind second. <laughs> if can't kill first. Then, then kill, kill second. second. Yes. No blocks. Great. Take three commander damage. Mm. 27. Cast Chromox. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Exile Right of Flame. Hey, two. Cast Underworld Breach. Oh. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. 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 That's yeah. a good thing. Seems good. Yep. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Great. Yeah. Yeah, that's good. Exile uh, these three cards and cast Gamble from my graveyard. Hell yeah. Mental Mista. Oh, great, thank you. Yep. Uh, sorry, that was for Gamble because I didn't tap any mana for it. I was too lost in what I was doing. Mm -hmm. um, exile those three. Lose a life to City of Brass, going out to 34. Cast Gamble again. Cards in graveyard? Cards in graveyard are two. So, so no still gamble for something that you can then cast. No. Nope. No. Nope. Mm -hmm. If you need three in the graveyard. Well, yeah. no. Gamble's I, gonna resolve. Uh, and yeah. the if, if if gamble resolves, yes. Yeah. Yes. Okay. Gamble on the stack. No response. Pass no response. I think thanks nobody, for nobody <laughs> asked you. <laughs> Alright, gamble. Or as the kids say, who asked? Right. Okay, here is the card that I got from Gamble. Please. I'll let you do this. Time. Yay! I'll let you do this time. I love you, buddy. Four, I love you. Four cards in hand. Man, I still don't like these odds. Yeah, neither do I, but here we are. Jeremy? This one. Not the caverns, I'm guessing. The graven cairns? Cairns? Caverns? My whatever. graven cairns. Uh, exile three. Pay a block. Cast Imperial Seal. Here's your mental misstep now. Ooh. It it countered the first gamble. Yeah, no, it There's been three tutors this turn. Yeah, no, it, it did it did a good. Steve can only yeah. do so much. <laughs> Give the guy a break. Yeah. Alright, off of Imperial Seal, I got that card. Put it on the top of my library. Yeah, what'd you get? What'd you get? What'd you get? Jeremy, I'll let you see. Ooh! I lose two going to 32, and I will pass the turn. Oh, uh, I don't know if you're just gone. Oh, oh goodbye! We love you. We should breach, breach. We love a value breach. We do yeah. love a value mm -hmm. breach. Fucking cowards. What type of you draw? Yep. Cast breach more often. Fucking cowards for no reason at all. One one card that you can breach from the library. Do it. I dare you. Play a marsh flats. Crack the marsh flats. Go to twenty six. Uh, from the marsh flats, I'm gonna find this bayou. Uh, three. Uh, black, black. Lose a life. Twenty five. Red, green, and put Crush on the side. Whee! Boomer John! That's trigger. Yes. You get a Snix Cold Six little Baldarinos. That's alright, they'll never hit you. <laughs> yeah, yeah, I'm sure I have no way They'll kill you otherwise. Other yeah, exactly. Uh, go to combat. Mm -hmm. Yep, John 22. Absolutely, down to 10. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Pass the turn, I have a response to your upkeep. Untap, upkeep. Besager, your drill bonus. Oh, oh, oh. Mm. Untap, mana vault. Yep. <clears throat> oh, untap in the mani. Wow, nice. No damage for you, buckaroo. Draw. 
Pass turn. And John McCart. Well, that's wild. I, I'm, I'm trying to figure out if I'm still just getting used to this deck, or I just hate this deck. <laughs> <laughs> Isn't that always the way with yeah. new decks? I mean, I guess, I guess I'll just cast what I can for funsies, uh, and then die to Seth. Yeah. Uh, so let's pay two. And cast a dox at extortion. That's yeah. a good card. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. That's a really good card. Yeah. Except yeah. for it's not super great right now. It's two. No, it's uh, not one four. for me. One for me. Oh, two? Great. Yeah. Uh, yeah. And then I will pay two for Chthonian Nightmare. Here are my two treasures from yeah. Dockside. Mm -hmm. And then I have three energy from Chthonian Nightmare. Uh, so close yet so far away. So you can taste it, you know what I mean? Yeah. It hurts. Uh, uh, you know, you know what I can do is play a land for turn. Mm -hmm. Mount Doom. Ooh. Ooh. That'll do it. That'll yeah. Do it. Just you watch. That's the On tap. Upkeep. Draw. Will Seth be able to kill the table this turn? No, actually. Find out this week on Things in the Ice. <laughs> ba -da -ba 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 -da -ba -da. Uh, so I'll go ahead and play a Manic Confluence. Mm -hmm. Let's go to combat. Yes. John. Mm -hmm. Steve. Uh, no further assignments. Orc Army coming at you. 22-22. John, you got a prosh Sky Raider of Care in the air. That's some thickness. I'll block with Lavinia. And I declare no blocks. Mm, gonna go ahead and sacrifice five kobolds. Pumping Crosh by five. Great! I'm dead! So mentally, I picture Prosh like swooping into Care Keep, the castle, mm -hmm. and just like, like pelicans, <laughs> uh, like whales swooping or pelicans scooping up a bunch of kobolds and then just going fucking Super Saiyan in the air. I imagine as he gets up and he blows his fire, it's just like, it's essentially a flechette of goblin parts that comes out <laughs> of the fire. Yeah. I guess that's probably enough. Killing one player a turn is fine. Yeah. Untap, upkeep, draw a card. Can you win this turn with that board? Hell no. <laughs> yeah, I'll, I will cast Narset, and then I'm going to tap Sinew Brat for one damage. Um, then I will cast DRC. Woo! Oh, That's two blockers. blockers! That'll be all. Pass the turn. Untap, upkeep, nothing, draw, cool. Play Overgrown Tomb, shocking it in. 23. That's not a coward move. Uh, tap the Overgrown move. Tomb, and I will cast Cohen the Week. Sacrifice and Crush. Mm. Okay, so that's four black mana. Okay, four black, one red, one green. Uh, and. Yeah, the Ancient Tomb is tax, lose two total, 21 life. Put Crush on the stack. So, cast trigger, I create eight goblins. Kobolds. Kobolds. Yep, nope. it's good. Okay, cool. Um, so I'm going to pay one, going down to 20, and I'll tap the bayou, and I'll cast Reckless Bushwhacker for its surge cost. Uh, haste to one. When Reckless Bushwhacker enters the battlefield, if its surge cost was paid, other creatures I control will get plus one, plus one, and gain haste into one. <laughs> <laughs> Move to combat. Yep. Declare the Lord, because math is for blockers. Well, I'm going to block Prosh. And the 22-22? No. Oh. That's enough. Then I think you're dead. Yeah. You're dead then. So, 23, 24, 25, 26, okay. 27, 28, 29, 30, 31, 32. Yeah, I'm at 30. Not including any of these. I, I actually think it's... No, it's not. No, if, no, you, not. Buy, if you buy the two biggest, yep, you can then you get another turn. So, yeah, we'll, but you we'll lose your board. That. Yep. Let's see what happens. All right, so you end up taking a 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17. So that puts me down 13. to 13. Lucky 13, Steve. Okay. Let's see. Underworld Breach off the top. Yep. Yeah, could happen. Good. Pass turn. All right. Come on. Um, I believe okay. in you. So Let's go, Breach with, uh, Buddies. The problem with beating somebody to death for creatures. Damage from Vault. Yes. 
Yeah, that's a good card, not right now. <laughs> yeah, you play that shit proud and loud. I'm gonna cast Rustic Study. Woo! Oh, yeah. yeah! That's a great card. No response. No. Faster. Tap. Upkeep. No triggers. Draw. Me. Go to combat. <gasps> mm -hmm. The board. Uh, oh. I take a shit ton of damage. And <laughs> Woo! <laughs> good what game. a good game. Holy crap. Is that showing it that uh, Boomer John still can hang in here and just swing with the baddies, right? It still does not turbo, but it does beat people to death. What a fantastic game. Thanks for watching these games. We'll catch you next week. Bye.